It's now July and we are flying through the year at a rapid pace. As it's a new month, we have even more gamer score that's on offer for all of you achievement hunters out there. Today, we have another 10 games that are easy for achievements on Xbox Game Pass. Get ready as these are some amazing games and some are the easiest that I have ever seen. With that, remember to subscribe to the channel for more achievement lists and guides that appear every single week. If you want to check out more easy games for Gamerscore, do check out the other videos here on the channel as I do one of these every single month. Now, at number 10, we have a brand new game that arrived onto Game Pass in June, and unfortunately, it did not get the attention that it deserves. The year is 2089 and a giant disc has arrived in the orbit of Jupiter. You will step into the oversized spacesuit of a brave scientist and explore the sprawling intergalactic slaughterhouse. This room is a very easy completion and if you have any troubles there are guides for every single achievement within the game on true achievements. In all, the game will take you 4 to 5 hours for the full 100%. On to number 9, and this is still one of my favourite games that has arrived onto Xbox Game Pass over the past couple of years. Besiege is a physics-based building game in which you construct awesome medieval siege engines. You get a full single-player campaign of 54 levels, chaotic multiplayer goodness, and you can even create your own worlds and contraptions. It is an incredibly fun game even without the achievements, so going for the 100% completion is an absolute blast. The game overall will take you less than 3-4 to four hours for the completion. At number 8 on our list, we have a game that arrived onto Xbox Game Pass a little while back now, but I still feel it's a title that does not get recommended enough for easy gamer score. That game is none other than the Bard's Tale ARPG Remastered and Resnarkled. As by the title, this is a remaster of the original game that released quite a few years ago now by InXile. You will play as a titular bard on his journey for lots of coin and cleavage. The game is an awesome mashup of comedy, great gameplay design and deep interesting narrative. If you haven't, I certainly recommend giving this game a try, especially as it was groundbreaking back on the PS2. If you want the full completion, you are looking at 3 hours at a maximum. Now on to number 7 and we have a game that many were surprised to see as an easy and quick completion, and that is The Sims 4. Usually, many gamers spend hundreds to thousands of hours playing this game, either making their dream life for their sims, or possibly making it a living hell. In actual fact, the game does not need to take this long, and for some of us out there, this is a sigh of relief, especially if you're not a fan. If you are diving into this game for achievements, there is a method and a guide across both YouTube and True Achievements, in which you will download player-created sim families that already meet the requirements. Some do call this lazy, but I'd like to call it efficient, and you can grab the whole completion doing it in this way in less than 3 hours. Number 6 is one that I have not yet covered in previous videos, and that has incredibly surprised me. The Artful Escape arrived in September of last year, and was a massive hit with fans for its absolutely beautiful visuals and excellent musical performances. You will set out as a teenage guitar prodigy on a psychedelic journey to inspire his stage persona and confront the legacy of a dark folk legend. You can expect amazing voice performances from Michael Johnson, Lena Headey and Mark Strong and much much more. This is certainly a mesmerizing experience and going for the achievements in this artistic game will take you 3-4 to four hours. Before we get into the next half of the video, make sure you do subscribe down below and like the video if you are enjoying. I upload achievement videos every single week and I thank you all for your continued support. Next up at number 5 we have another great game which launched onto Game Pass within the last year. It is one of the longest completions on the list, however it is one of the easiest and the most unique you will ever experience. Skatebird allows you to grind on bendy straws, kickflip over staplers and carve killer lines through cardboard as a small and cute little bird. I would never have thought to put a bird on a skateboard, but it is one of the most interesting and laugh inducing experience I have played on Game Pass to date. The achievement list on this is very easy, with one achievement popping by just starting the game. If you want the full completion, it will take you between 6 to 8 hours. At number 4 is a game that I have only recently discovered myself and started playing. Kraken Academy is a beautiful pixel art adventure title that has surprised me with its unique gameplay loop and simply phenomenal game design. In essence, Kraken Academy is facing imminent doom at the hands of the mysterious traitor, and the only way to advert the crisis 
is to locate and free each of the four spirits of Kraken Academy before the end of Wednesday evening. The game is very easy for achievements, but I do recommend a guide as there are a few missable ones. If you want the full 100% for this game, then again, you're looking at 6-8 to eight hours. Now, our next game is one of my favourite co-op experiences of all time and has an amazing story. A Way Out is such an incredible experience and provided me with one of the best narrative experiences when it arrived onto Game Pass. It's at no surprise that it's a phenomenal game as it was crafted by the mastermind behind It Takes Two, Joseph Ferres. I won't give any of the story away if you haven't played the game yet, but you take the role of two prisoners making their daring escape from prison. If you haven't played it, you need to right now. And with an achievement list taking less than 8 hours to complete, it is a game you need to play. At number 2, we have a beautiful handcrafted 2D action platformer that will take you on a journey of discovery and conflict. Flynn, Son of Crimson is a great action platformer that is hard to put down when you start playing. You will help Flynn and his mythical companion Dex save Rosentika before the evil Scourge takes his home. If you love old school 2D platforming action, then this is certainly a game to jump into straight away. In terms of time for completion, you are looking at between 6 to 8 hours, and every single achievement has a guide on true achievements in case you require that small bit of help. We now come down to our last easy completion on Game Pass as of July 2022, and that is taken by none other than Deer Simulator. This is one of the strangest games available right now on Game Pass and even takes that crown away from Goat Simulator. Put simply, if you're aware of how odd and peculiar Goat Simulator is, then you'll feel right at home with Deer Simulator. You will frolic, shoot, destroy and relieve some stress across the entirety of the town. The achievement list in this one is one of the easiest to ever grace Xbox and at no surprise, 29% of all registered users on True Achievements have got the full 100%. If you haven't already, get down with the deer and you will get it completed within 2 hours. What is your favourite looking game out of this list? And are there any you'll be looking to complete which you weren't aware of? Do let me know down in the comments below and whilst down there, subscribe for more Xbox and achievement videos every single week. Like the video if you enjoyed, my name is Fletcher from PSX and I will see you all in the next video.